Team, let's break it down. We've got a $1,000 gain on AMD in 13 minutes. 13 minutes after market open, up $1,000 on the day. Can you believe it? And I didn't even use that much capital. So what happened here? How did we make the money that we made? And why was the alert called out when it was? What led me to call out the alert? We're going to review it all. So stand by. We start with the main chat. Very beginning of the morning. Main chat. Here's what I posted. Before market open, 8.57 a.m. Remember that on gap down days, the ideal scenario is an opening rally that gets sold. Super, super, super important. Always keep this in mind when you have a gap down day. Gap down day, ideal scenario is an opening rally that gets sold. Why? We know that there's an ebb and flow to the market. Typically, things don't just drop in a linear line, in a straight line all the way down, or typically things don't just rise in a straight line all the way up unless there's some type of crazy news catalyst. That's not normally how things work. There's always a drop, little pullback, drop, little pullback, drop, little pullback. I shouldn't say always, but typically that's the way it works. So on a gap down day, it's a drop. And what are we looking for? That little pullback. Why? And this makes sense because on a gap down day, you want to typically relieve some of the selling pressure. Those traders who are perhaps short overnight, right? They're short on AMD. They wake up and they see a gap down day. What are they doing at the open? Most of them most likely are taking profits. When they take profits, you got to buy back the shares. If you're short, that causes the stock price to rise. The stock may also feel overextended or in this case, AMD gap down to a $100 whole number, right? This is $100 right here. Gap down to a whole number where it is already going to be a natural point of support and or resistance in this case support. So a gap down day, opening price uh, sorry, previous day's closing price is up here at the green line, that's what that denotes, and the opening price is here. So gap down day, we're opening up under the PDC, we're looking for what? An opening rally to get sold. So gap down day, again, ideal scenario. Watch for that opening rally to get sold. Now let's go into the alert room and we'll roll through the alerts here. What do we post? Staying patient this morning. We're getting that morning and opening rally, it seems. So five minutes after market open, I'm already telling you what's happening. Hey, keep an eye out. Ideal scenario. We're already getting the start of it. Opening rally. Uh, then I'm talking about Google, right? Um, that's not the trade that we wound up taking. Then I said two trade ideas here. Loaded NVIDIA short. No entry yet. Waiting to see if this will rally and then sell back below the trigger level. And also loaded AMD short. No entry yet. Waiting to see if we get a previous day's close rejection. PDC reject. And I give you the contracts that I'm taking. This is at 9.38 a.m. Eastern time, which is right here. And so what I said was I'm waiting to see if we PDC reject, right? That, that green line. I'm waiting to see if the opening rally gets sold. Are we going to see a rejection here? And sure enough, we do. We start to get a heavy sell down. This immediately is confirmation for me. Right away, I, this is confirmed. So because I already had these contracts loaded up in my Active Trader, and I've already given them to you, it was easy to just press buy when we got confirmation. That is why it's so important that you, that you stay prepared and be on top of things. If you see me talking about an opening rally that's getting sold and you see me talking about AMD looking for the PDC reject and you see me posting contracts, all you have to do, the reason why I post these contracts, for those that trade think or swim at least, is copy this code. Highlight, copy, paste it into the active trader. That way when you get a confirmation like this, all you need to do, need to do is press buy. So literally uh, on this next candle, right? And I didn't get I didn't get the top tick. It happened pretty quick, or the drop started to happen pretty quick. Top tick, uh, didn't get it. We get a drop down about halfway through the candle. I just mark it by. And I tell you, hey, I took entry on AMD short. Stop loss is going to be the previous day's closing price. So if we are looking for a rejection of the previous day's close, which is here, then that now becomes our stop loss right? Because it should not reclaim or push any higher. So entry is here at this blue line. Stop loss is here. Price target is down near 
the short trigger level, which was posted on the day trade watch list, or 20% profit. We typically aim for about 20% profit though. So 1.65 fill price, so I'm just walking you through the trade. I give you my fill price, I give you the exact contracts that I've got loaded again, right? Just reminding you. And, uh, and then we're up 10% right away. So immediately, same minute, that literally the same minute that we took the trade, we are up 10%. Next minute, now up 15%. I say you can take your profits or hold. That's up to you. The same minute, now up 20%. So that's at 940. So as we're getting the drop down, 939, 940, now we're up 20% here at the bottom of this candle. You can take your profits or hold. That's up to you. I wound up holding through because I'm thinking that this, sorry, I'll move this line up to the $100 hold number. I'm thinking that if we drop below 100, this is really going to fall a lot more. And unfortunately it didn't, it didn't really give us that. I was looking for a re-entry later on, um, but I'll, I'll walk you through my thought process. So basically I didn't sell at 20% because I was looking for more profits on a breakdown below uh, $100. So I say, if you miss AMD short, this is at 941, I think it's definitely still in play. Look for a rally to get a good entry. And I remind you again, if you miss the drop, look for a rally to take it short. I think this is still valid for another test of low of day. And that's at 942. So literally as this is bouncing, right? Bouncing up and bouncing up and giving you these peaks, I'm telling you to look for these rallies to take it short. So if you miss this short entry, Let's say you missed this very first one. Uh, we'll actually go back here. Let's say you missed this very first one. You missed that big drop down. That's okay. Look for the rally to take it short. If you miss this entry, you've got another entry up here at the, literally the same exact spot. If you miss this entry, you've got two more, one, two more minutes to take the entry at the same spot before you get the drop lower into the low of day to take that short. And it doesn't look like a big move, but the contracts from here to here moved 30 percent so from here to here you're probably looking at at least 20 percent 15 may uh, uh maybe even 25 but at least 15 to 20 percent profit right so if you missed the, miss the initial drop i saw some people posting in chat i missed the trade missed the trade missed rather than ta telling everybody that you missed it why don't you just keep focused on the charts and look for another entry right because if this move is true and it's really going to break down usually you will get another chance to take an entry. Uh, so where did I sell? AMD, that's 30%, 943. Reason I sold is because I was up $1,000 on the trade, right? I, I figured, let me go ahead and lock in. I was up 30%. Let me go ahead and lock in the 1K gain, which is here as we drop down in the low of day. Let me go ahead and lock in 1K. And then I will re-enter on a break of 100 and then a retest of 100 as a point of resistance. So I noticed this was consolidation, right? And I didn't want to close the trade here and then go back in here. Um, I was just waiting for more confirmation, basically. Though this would have worked, right? I could have closed it there, went back in here, and then caught it for the move down there. But that's kind of a lot happening all at once. So basically, I wanted the break of this, uh, sorry, this consolidation. And then I was going to re in So if we got a move like this and then a rally up retest and a rejection of 100, I would have took the entry short there and then try to catch the move down. We, we didn't get that, so I wound up not going back in on it. But this is the trade that we took. So again, just, I mean, I say $1,000 in 13 minutes, but we had to wait, you know, for what, eight of those minutes to pass before we even got the drop. So realistically, one, two, three, four minutes, it's a $1,000 trade in four minutes, and I made 30% profit. So like I said, not using that much capital on the position itself. And then AMD wound up holding support and rallying up. So that, that was it. That was it for our short trade here. And we, we absolutely nailed it, right? Taking advantage of this when you when you could for the drop down uh, towards the low of day. I want to point out one other trade too. And I, I did not take this trade because it's midday and typically I don't take midday trades. But there was a member in the Discord server. Uh, oh, by the way, to everybody, I saw that you were posting your, your AMD profits here. To everybody that took advantage of that and, and caught that drop with me, uh, congratulations on the day. So um, even Willow here, 4.5K on the day. I mean, phenomenal, phenomenal work. I'm, I'm seeing improvement all over the Discord server. Um, main chat, Google, I want to review this. So someone had asked, you know, Gates, uh, what do you think about, well, I think they were asking the team in general, 
what do you think about a trade on Google as this is pulling back to the trigger level? And I'll scroll through and see if I can find it here. Um, Google we had is a long idea above $138. And if I'm not mistaken, this is exactly what I posted on Twitter for everybody for free over the weekend. Um, and I did my analysis on Saturday. Sorry, let me jump to the present. There's a lot of messages. We're a pretty active Discord server here. So a lot of messages in the Discord. Uh, here, here we go. So uh, posted from this member, how does anybody like, how, do you, how does anybody like the 138 retest of Google, right? So straight off the day trade watch list, I'll walk, through, walk you through this. Does it make sense? They, they were asking, you know, 138 retest, should I take the trade long? Does it make sense to take the trade long? Uh, off the day trade watch list here, Google was a long idea above $138, long over 138. So we got Google here, five minute time frame, 138. We've got our trend line drawn at $138, right? Now it did break out and run to 139 plus early on. And if you caught that move, awesome. Uh, if not, then you're like me and you missed it. That's okay too. Um, as long as we, you, you know, we're making your money elsewhere. It's, it's okay. You're going to always pretty much miss opportunity in the market. You can't catch everything that is there. So my response to this member was, look, Watch list rule seven states that a retest of the 138 trigger level could work again, right? Remember, follow the watch list training rules in the Discord server if you're new. But I would be also I would also be mindful that it's creating lower highs and lower lows at this time. So this is what I was talking about: run of 139, then here's your lower highs. So here's your high of day, then your lower high and your lower high and your lower high as well as lower lows. So all of this here is a lower low, lower low, lower low, right? Lower highs, lower lows, which means the stock is downtrending at the time. So I said, if you decide that the trade is worth the risk, I would take it now and place a stop at 138. And by the time it was 1255 when I sent this message out, it was actually already below $138. So that, that scenario really shouldn't have been you know, if I said take it long now with a stop below 138, that, that maybe wouldn't have worked out so well, right? Uh, but the next thing I said was, or wait for a bounce first and then take the trade once a higher low is formed, if the higher low is formed. So this being your low of this run, wait for the bounce first. This is your bounce. And then look for the higher low. This would be your higher low. Now you're getting the perfect pullback retest and hold of the $138 trigger level. So your higher low, so because the stock is creating lower low, lower low, lower lows at the time, now all of a sudden you get a higher low. That lower low trend is broken, which signals a trend change. And if the trend is changing from down, then it must be going up, right? And so this is your phenomenal bounce off of the trigger level and the run up towards 139 once more. Now, you didn't get as, as as significant of a run here, but that specific member did tag me later on, said, thank you for the guidance. It was slow. It was like watching paint dry, but I got out with an 18% gain. So again, if you're just feeling like you're missing the trade, uh, either on AMD or if you're missing it on Google, stay patient. Because oftentimes if you get confirmation, you will get another entry later on. You just have to be here, be present, be smart, right? And wait for your confirmations. My two points that I gave after those two possible entries was the first one is more risky, but it provides more profit. So what I was saying there was if you're going long, I said go long right now, right? And with a stop at 138. Now that could have been here. You could have waited for the next couple of candles to reclaim. You could have gotten an entry lower is basically what I'm saying. So it's more risky because you don't have bounce confirmation at this time, but you are able to capitalize on a bit more profit here, right? Let's say you entered at the top of this green candle after you got the bounce confirmation. You're looking at, uh, it's not much, um, what is this, 0.2% almost, 0.18% extra profit. So it's riskier, but you can yield more profit by taking the trade early. The other side of the coin, if you waited for the bounce confirmation, the second entry is that you, prov you you get provided more confirmation, but it may not yield 
as much profit, right? Because you're you're waiting, um, you get the pullback bounce, and then and then maybe you don't even take the trade till it starts to break the downtrend trend line here. So I mean, there's just a few strategies that you can apply. The tr the the trend line break strategy here, the bounce of the trigger level at 138, right? That's number two. The change of trend from lower lows to now higher lows. That's number three. A lot of different things kind of working for you all at this one point. So multiple confirmations serving as a potential entry point for Google long off the trigger level for a second time today. Okay, press the like button for me if the video has helped you out. Thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate anybody that is not a subscriber to subscribe to the channel. I post pretty good content every now and then, and I'm trying to work more on posting uh, better YouTube videos and breakdowns for you. So a lot of free information dropped here. Yeah, give me a, give me a follow, um, uh, subscribe to the channel. And, and again, thank you for your time. I will see you in chat. Take care.